Hi, my name is John Morris. I'm a dance educator and teaching artist, and I'm excited to be sharing this content with you. Dance is my passion. I believe that there's a place in every classroom for a creative dance movement. Whether you're a classroom teacher, either arts-based or in some other core content area, a teaching artist, a school administrator, a parent, or a student, there's something in this resource for you. Here's how to work with the resource. Immediately after you watch this video, make sure to go to the accompanying PDF entitled How to Use This Resource, and it will walk you through all the moving parts step by step. From there, I highly recommend that you go to the PDF that provides the overview of creativity. It's a brief but deep dive into the nature of creativity based on current research. From there, you might want to go to the next document, which is titled Dance in the Creative Process, which will give you a little more of an idea about the relationship between dance and creativity and why dance movement is such an excellent partner with other content areas. At that point, you're ready to tackle the videos themselves. First, take a look at the accompanying PDFs which list and give brief descriptions of the elements of dance and the dance making tools. Once you've familiarized yourself with that list, follow your curiosity and watch whichever videos you'd like to see actual student demonstrations of how these tools and elements can be worked with. Last but not least, especially if you're a classroom teacher, make sure to go to the final PDF, Using Movement in the Classroom. That document will provide you with several tips and strategies about how to integrate movement right away into your classroom content. The document also contains a blueprint for a creative dance making exercise that will engage your students in the creative process and can be implemented either in a single lesson or spread over several weeks and developed more fully. It's an exciting exercise that I've used many times before with students. So, whoever you are, I hope you get something useful from this resource and enjoy your exploration of the creative process.